What's up and welcome back to another spiritual OG learning session brought to you by the Wise Men Theory Company. So today we'll be talking about ways to boost your natural confidence. We will be learning these 10 easy ways to build and boost our own natural confidence. These tips and techniques will work for all. They benefit all and it can be used and cultivated daily. And most of all, they're free to use. All you need is a little love, willpower, and desire to be committed to confidence, and you will be all right. Let's begin. Number one, this is the most important technique that you can actually learn from this confidence building exercise. So, with that being said, number one is getting things done. I know it may seem a little bit crazy, like, how can this boost my confidence, but let me explain further for you. Confidence is built on accomplishment. If you achieve small and big goals, you're going to feel much better about yourself. Mm -hmm. Also, it begins with your day-to-day -day goals. You got to start small. Don't ever try to accomplish nothing too big and stuff like that. Remember, reality exceeds expectations. So, you can ask yourself things like, what do I need to accomplish today? And every day of this week, or at least three days of this week to help you meet your goal. If you accomplish the goals you set for yourself every day, chances are you'll begin meeting weekly and monthly goals, which brings you in the range of your biannual and annual goals. You see how that builds up like that? Keep in mind that progress is incremental and big changes don't happen overnight. Know that Rome wasn't built in a day. The more you mold your discipline towards your goals, the more confident you will be about completing tasks, especially the big ones. Eventually, you're gonna feel like you can take on a big project and set an ambitious goal because you believe that you can meet it. That's what confidence is, that belief. Set a goal for yourself and go after it. Number two, which is equally as important as number one, is to always monitor your progress. Keep track of everything that you do and how far you come. In, in layman's term, when you look back on it, everything is going to add up. And you're gonna be so accomplished with how all of the small things led up to you accomplishing your main and true goal. Remember, not everything is a race. So pace yourself while you do this. Also, the best way to reach your goals, big or small, is to break them into small goals and to monitor your progress. Process. Always monitor it. Whether you're trying to get promoted, get a better job, get into a graduate school, change careers, eat healthier, or even lose a significant amount of weight, the best way to know if you're making progress is to monitor it. Try to quantify. As in your accomplishments, it could be in regards to the number of applications you're submitting to jobs or graduate schools, what you're eating and how much you're exercising. The best way to do anything is to always keep the paper trail. So in regards to monitoring your progress, make sure that you write down whatever your goal may be. It will help you stay on course and you will build confidence as you see the progress you're making in real time. Number three, do the right thing. Most confident people live by a value system and make their decisions based on their value system. Even when it's hard and not necessarily in the best interest of the greater good, your actions and your decisions define your character. Ask yourself, what's the best version of yourself that you aspire to be would do and do it. This can also be in the form of what would Jesus do? Even when it's really hard and it's the last thing you wanna do, and it means a short-term sacrifice on your part, in the long run, you're gonna like yourself more and be prouder of who you are. So don't sleep on doing the right thing. Number four, be fearless. Failing isn't your enemy. It's feeling failure that truly cripples you. If you set big goals and have big dreams, you're going to feel overwhelmed and you're inevitably going to feel like you can't do it. In those moments, you have to look inside yourself and gather every ounce of courage that you have and just keep going. Every single wildly successful person has been afraid and they've kept working in spite of and taking risks anyways because what are they trying to accomplish is more and urgent than their fear they will fail. Think about how much you want to achieve your goal. Then put your fear to the side and keep going, one day at a time. Number five, stand up for yourself. When your goal, project, investment, etc., is in its early stages, and someone says that your goal is stupid or unrealistic, they may even tell you that you can't do it. It may be tempting to believe them because they're joining the chorus of doubts inside of your head. Logically, you think, how can I be right when this person and all these doubts in my head are telling me I can't do this? This is a stupid idea. And you tell those people, especially the voices in your head, that they are wrong. 
you have it in you. So tell them you believe in your goal, you believe in yourself, so you're going to accomplish it. Don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. Number six, follow through. People respect when people say they're going to do something and they do it. More importantly, you'll respect yourself if you say you're going to do something and you do it. And believing in yourself will become easier because you're not afraid of the work. Action gives your words meaning and it will help you pave a path to accomplishing your goals, strengthening your relationships, and feeling proud of who you are. Number seven, think long term. The foundation of unhappiness is decisions made for short term comfort that impede long term goals. If you're trying to save money, you can't go out and eat as much. Try home cooked meals instead. If you're studying for an important test, you can't go out with friends as much. Try to make it a friend study session or take turns having cost effective friend activities like movie night, karaoke day, and board game nights. If you're trying to shed pounds, you must change your diet, replace some things, eat healthier, and get to exercising on a daily basis. Big goals require big sacrifices. You have to dig deep and really discipline yourself. In the moment, it is tedious and frustrating and makes life significantly harder, but it will all pay off and the pride you feel will be worth it. You have to decide if your short-term comfort is more important than your long-term goals. Know that long-term goals will bring you far more happiness in the long run than your short-term comfort can ever Number eight, don't care what others think. There are going to be many people, so many people, <laughs> who will tell you you cannot accomplish your goal. Whether it is rejection from employers, schools, or just negative feedback from friends or family, people will try to tell you that your goal is too big or that you're not ready or that you can't even do it. And one of my favorites, that's never been done before. And you absolutely cannot listen to them. You must be resolute. While they tell you the odds are against you and etc., remember, most people are wrong about old things. People change the world every day despite everyone around them telling them that it can be done. If you think you can do it, you can do it. Don't listen to them, especially if you're doing it with good intentions for the right reasons. Believe in yourself and always keep going. Number nine, do more of what makes you happy. What do you love to do in your spare time? Is it go outside, hike, kayak, and enjoy the outdoors? Or do you live for rest, relaxation, and comfort? Maybe treating yourself to a self-care day, a nap, some good food, and comforting face masks. Whatever it is you love, create space for it because life is short. You need time to enrich your life and recharge to be your best self. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your love and support and I hope that this video helps you out as much as these things have helped me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment and click that notification bell to be notified for more content from Spiritual OG and the Wise Men Theory Company. Thank y'all. Bye.